Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here, and... Sarah Tyndall. And tonight, tonight, we're going to start out by, what are we doing? Tonight, I've got a special shout out to one lovely, lovely woman that I talked to the other day, and I told her I was going to shout her out on our next video. So it's Hannah's Empire. Hannah's Empire. I don't know why it's not coming through. I got it on my phone. Oh. Hannah. Um, she's very good. She loves her animals. And I would like for you guys to go and subscribe to her. So y'all make sure you pause this video right now and then go subscribe to her and come right back because right now. I was going to make a scorpion video, which I'm going to make after this video, so y'all guys can have something else, like scorpions in your life. Um, but something really amazing is happening. Every single one of my G Poultras, Grandma Stola Poultra, Brazilian Black, is molting at the same time. Look at that. Here's the big one. This is Ray. His name is Ray from Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Yep, this is my birthday present from Ray from Deeper Scrapers Tarantulas from the March Kinley Expo. Just came out of his uh, molt. Such a lovely little one. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love it. Thanks again, Ray. This is a gift that just keeps on giving and giving. Look at lid it. Right over there. Alright, so, now that is that. I gotta show you all this other stuff. You won't believe how many free molts I have here. It's like ridiculous. Ridiculous. Every one of them at the same time. I'm gonna show you guys too while I'm on it. Let me get some light on this subject. I'm gonna show you all different things. I've already done a molting video before, but y'all gotta see this because it's so, it's so cool. Alright, here's a way to tell that your tarantula is in free molt. Notice the abdomen, which is the piece that's sticking out of the end of my finger is extremely shiny and bright. See all that shininess? I know it's not coming through as crystal clear as it absolutely should be, but it is shiny. This is a Grandma Stella Poultra. It's making a web mat right here because I've disturbed it, it's moved, but it's fixing to lay upside down on this web mat and it's fixing to molt any second now. And I'll show you the next stage of this, what's going to happen if you come into your tea room and you see one of your teas like this, don't think, oh my god, I'm dead. I've fallen and I can't get up. I need help. No. They're fine. They just make a web mat just like the other one. They lay upside down and then they come out of their magical shell. And then you have a bigger tarantula, which is very awesome and exciting to me because tonight, tonight, I'm going to be able to sick some of these lovely G poultures and find out what I have. Y'all can see he's alive and well. going to be molting. They'll be being transferred into these other containers before too long. I absolutely love these, by the way. Um, so that's number four. We got upside down. Wow, look what we got here. Hakuna Matata. Who knows what that means? Leave it in the comments below. Check that out. This is what, if you ever see your spider like this and you don't happen to see a molt like here, but he's all white and stuff like that, do not mess with him. He just came out of the molt. Look at that. Aww, daddy baby time. This is number two. Going back in his hole. And I am going to take that molt. I am going to take that molt because I am going to sex that molt. We will find out what we have. Y'all have to stay tuned for the next video to figure that one out. Or maybe the next even. So, that's number two, successfully came out of the shell, on G Ultra. So, then we have G Ultra number five. I've got eight G Ultras in total. I love them. They're one of my favorites. Check this one out. This one also is in pre-molt, meaning it won't take food, but... Oh, well, that's another thing. If you try to give them food and they don't take the food, then you better uh, you better not uh, try to give them food and take that food item out of there. So when they're in that state 
upside down or inside out they're not going to get eaten by your feeder that would be a great thing to do for them also check out tarantula time y'all can pause the video for a moment and go subscribe to tarantula time be awesome with the glass works and stuff here you see another shiny abdomen these are all going to molt tonight what did I tell you last night when I was looking at these when they were going to molt, Sarah Tyndall? Today. I told you today what? Last night or today. Yep. They were going to molt last night or today because I can pretty much tell. This one has not created the web mat yet, but it will be any time now. By morning time, all of these will be molted. I'm sure of it. Look at that. Absolute bayute. I highly recommend this species to anyone. They're very hard to come by. And now with new laws being passed every day, stealing every freedom we have away from us until we have no freedoms and it makes every person on earth criminals. Well, you said you have that to, um, You have to just buy from state to state. You can't ship over state with these, so you will have to buy them out of your own state. So you said this at... Uh, Three o'clock in the morning, and it is now eight fifty December the twentieth. Yep, so that's that one, and you don't want to disturb their enclosure or anything when you're doing this. I'm only doing this for the video to show you guys. Normally, I do not mess with them at all. So it is very dangerous, very dangerous. They could die during this process. Let me check that out. There is number eight. So we have right here three, four, five, six. Eight and then one. So where is two? Where the hell is two? Where is two at? We have one. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. We're missing seven. Where is seven at? I think so. We left it up there. Are you sure? Yeah, because I see a yellow one up there. Oh, okay. Number seven is already molted. I might as well show that one too while I'm on here. And it is a female. I was able to sex it, which is awesome. So now we have a big male and a little female, which is not very cute. I'm just going to slow down feeding on the cheaper scrapers one. Because here is the female I was able to sex. And I'll be able to sex all of these soon. There she is in all of her glory. All similar setups. I love these little containers. They're awesome. Oh, Y'all leave in the comments what you think below. I wanted this to be all about Jeep Ultra, but I still have a few minutes on here, so um, I'm also going to show you guys one more thing. Here is my molt. I'll tell y'all guys what that is by the time I drop these uh, little poultures off back over here. Y'all try to leave in the comments below right now what you think they are. What do you think that bolt is? I'll tell you about it when I get back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, time's up. That is a Monocentropus Balfori. Monocentropus Balfori. Monocentropus Balfori. Blue leg baboon. Socotra Island blue leg baboon. <laughs> we have a mature male in here. Possibly have a female in here. I'm not sure. I don't know what the other one is because she's always hidden. I'm not going to dig her out. I'm not in a hurry to dig my tarantula out. But I do need to know. So, I'm also looking for a mature female. I do not want to do a 50 50. I do not want to do this, that, or the other. I just want. A mature female so anybody got a mature female out there that they don't really need which I'm sure you don't really need it but I do need it so leave in the comments below or share this video with somebody that you know because I need to build me a bigger communal and I'm gonna need to keep every single one of my babies out of the monocentropus balfouri except there will be something given to my fans out of every egg sac that I have um, an undisclosed number, so y'all stay tuned for that, and let me know. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff 
to trade for a female, so y'all just let me know in the comments below. A female, Monocentropus balfouri. And y'all say that with me, that's the word of the day, people. Monocentropus balfouri. Some say E, but it's pronounced balfouri. Edward Tyndall and Monocentropus balfouri. Tyndall, shit, out.